Throwback gang, welcome back to a brand new episode of Elden Ring. Link to the previous episode at the top right hand of your screen where we went through the Ansel River. Went through that river well and finished off by fighting the Dragon King soldier of Noxtella. We also went to the Carrion Study Hall Tower and did the first half of it. And we finished off by coming down here to the Sea of the River well where we are as you guys can see now S -s the Siofra river well is another river well but this one is a completely river well well that's kind of misleading because the Ansel river is also complete it's just that we could only do a part of the Ansel river well whereas uh, the Siofra river well we are gonna be doing it in its entirety from start to finish without leaving a second part to be done you know at a later at a later date so just like before there are well diggers around and you know the drill they are so slow it's like stealing a pair of dentures in a retirement home and watching the old dudes just try and chase you around as you casually walk around why, why is that the example that I have in my head? I don't know. Or it's like stealing candy from a crawling baby as you just casually stroll away from that baby. Essentially speaking, dudes are slow. We are fast even without trying. That's the basis of what I'm trying to say. Anyway. Um, right now all I'm doing is picking up some Dukist Abba. There are a lot of abas around, so personally speaking, I don't even know what I'm ever going to use them for, but I see them, I pick them up. It's what I do. We also get a ghost glove vote one for our trouble, some more dukeist abba, a lot of smithing stones, a lot of silver flies, moving through the waterfall to see if there is anything that I haven't picked up, which seems to be no. More Dukis Abba, more Dukis Abba, more Dukis Abba. Alright, so as you guys can see, this looks like a uh, Walking Dead movie marathon with so many slow dudes trying to get to me and me just casually strolling in between them like there's nothing happening. Anyway, um, there is this piece of item that I'm trying to pick up Golden Throne 4. I don't know why people leave, uh, what's it called, I don't know why people leave messages where you're trying to pick up stuff, it's, it's very annoying. Okay, some more ABBA. The Dukeist kind, apparently, because there's also ABBA which isn't Dukeist. Why? I don't know. It's part of the game's charm, I think. Anyway. We shall be doing some platforming, so I'm gonna tell Torrent to skidaddle a bit so that I can be able to do this quite comfortably without the fear of death. As you can see, some blood stains here, so somebody tasted death while doing this platforming. Alright, down we go and down we go then jump up jump up again jump up jump up again and up once more and up and we run now did you guys see how powerful the bubble is i literally just had to show you guys how good the bubble is because we shall be going to get that bubble spell as well so that's from a weak enemy the attack is not supposed to be powerful enough to destroy us in one go so yeah you guys have seen how the bubble works with them so we shall be going to get the bubble that is found uh, within that scarab down there so we drop and then we simply jump and slash so jump and slash and there we go we get the oracle bubbles so pretty cool spell 
might consider using it much later and back on torrent we go jump down get the golden centipede and now we shall be heading over to get them up to the sea of the river well so that we can start moving along well not blindly so that we can know exactly where we are going to so that we can see exactly where we are headed right so now uh, we're gonna jump up these stairs once more gonna say goodbye to our little torrent and we're gonna let this elevator take us all the way up i love how big the golden hell body is it's actually bigger than our character if you were to place it standing upright So surprisingly speaking, we cannot use torrent in the elevator, but we can use him right here. So, but he would be dismounted if we came in here with torrent as well. So, uh, we get the preserving boluses. These ones are used to combat rot, but again, we also have the flame lens me incantation. So, I think we're gonna be good on that front. So we pick up some more melted mushroom. We pick up some more dukist abba. And we finally pick up this liver. So we're gonna ignore that crab because we have no need to be dealing with a crab. And here we are, we find ourselves at a nice site of grace. Now, as you guys can see, we are underground a bit. That's where we started off and now we are basically moving underground beneath Kaelid, as you guys can see. So that should tell you where we were as I remove that mark as well. But yeah, basically speaking, the next place we shall be heading towards is Kaelid after we finished with after we do finish with this here of the river well so i uh, need 43000 ish so let's say 44000 runes to progress to the next upgrade level which sucks because i would have had enough by now had i not thrown away all my runes at jabag in the previous episode but you know you live and learn you live and learn all right it's now time to move around this area so this area has to um what's it called this area has two bosses so one boss is found like immediately around we already fought a similar version before so once you see him you guys are gonna notice it immediately and the other is going to be a prelude to another more powerful boss that we will fight in another region so yeah pretty much a lot of fun stuff coming for all of us so as you guys can see we did light up that stuff and that pillar also lit up which is cool so that pillar is giving us a hint that you know if you are able to light up some pillars you know something is gonna happen anyway the ancestral hunters are back if you guys can remember in the previous episode i told you that we shall be dealing with them a lot and yeah this is basically like their breeding nest there are a lot of ancestral hunters in this region but there is a pillar that i'm looking for yeah right here it is okay we just need to get on top of it we need to get past that guy nicely done and then we're gonna use this teleporter so what i'm thinking is we go deal with the minor boss of this region first and then we finish off with the lower region which has the main boss so yeah the the this upper region hosts the minor boss of the region and is in that skyline so good and beautiful to look at but yeah so it's gonna be a very short area to be honest we're just gonna be picking up some stuff 
and then we're gonna deal with the minor boss and then we shall go back to that pillar we lit up and then we're gonna pick up the map and then yeah we're gonna explore this entire entire region in its entirety as we light up the pillars to open up the path to the boss yeah you you can't deal with you can't get into the bosses world without uh lighting up all the pillars so this entirety of this episode until we get to the boss it's gonna be uh, spent with us simply moving from one place to the other dodging and avoiding ancestral spirits or ancestral hunters in a bid to light up the pillar so that we can get to where the boss is so should be fun should be fun so we are moving around with our trusted torrent again old slow dudes over here so nothing to worry about we get a smithing five and then this other scarab needs you need to destroy it to get another ability and we get the great oracle bubble essentially this one only produces one bubble while the other one we got produces multiple bubbles that's the entire difference concerning our oracle bubbles now move up pick up this golden rune 7 which is pretty cool and then we keep on moving Okay, so there's a lot of Dukist Arba around as usual and you might have not guessed it but this is where the boss actually is I know it's such an open area but yeah this is where the boss of the region is so all I'm gonna be doing is picking up the final uh, abilities as you can see even beneath our stamina bar we have the stake of Marika icon available meaning we can just respond from this point on so should be pretty cool so uh, there's this one thing that I want to get I could end on 7 pretty cool some more Duke is Taba and some more Duke is Taba but uh, I literally don't see anything else that you can get in this area other than Duke is Taba well you know and some ghost glove wood a level 4 at that which is pretty cool okay some more duke is taba and some more duke is taba right we are going to fight the boss that's the boss right over there just casually lying down asleep so i'm gonna bring out my demi human bros once more and then I'm gonna go get his attention you know so that he can be very aggressive on us and as you guys can see now this is another dragon king soldier the other one we fought was for Noxtella this is just some dragon king soldier and just like I explained before dragon king soldiers used to be humans who partook in a lot of dragon communion and it backfired on them and turned them into what they are today I can't believe we missed okay my demi humans are not faring well and neither am I with all these misses how am I missing Oh boy, getting pummeled. Why are we getting pummeled? How am I missing? These are multiple strikes that we've kept on missing, which is insane. Mm. 
I think we're the only one left. Well, I mean, there is one demi human left, but I don't think it's gonna do much for me to be honest. Oh, but. Oh man, so close. Oh, missed. <gasps> oh, you have got to be kidding me. All those charged attacks that I missed could have easily taken him down. But we kept on missing charged attacks. Which never happens when you have the golden hellbird. Especially if they reach the golden hellbird. Does. Anyway, uh, that means we are going to lose the ability of our golden rune which sucks but yeah you guys know me that means we are not gonna activate a golden rune we are gonna take him down in our base stats which also means that i cannot effectively use my golden hell but so um i might as well just bring back no actually we're gonna give oleg a chance this time around and we're gonna switch to the bloodhounds fang and I'm looking to see if yeah we can also get the dragon wound grease so that we can use it too. We can use the dragon wound grease on this. The whole premise is dragon wound grease will work better against dragons, and the dragon king soldier is, by all accounts of the world, a dragon. So yeah, I'm gonna see if this works much better. So. I'm gonna wake him up. You know, I actually realized that I did not even have to keep fighting him. Like, I could have run away when my health was low. And then just healed up and then came back. But anyway, that's already... It's all hits and happens and all that, so... How am I missing? It's insane that I keep missing my charged attacks against this thing. Oh god, he missed. Now, this specific Dragon King soldier cannot fly, so... That is a, fl a plus for us. Okay, there we go. Some more Dragon Wound Grease. Man, Oleg is not having a good time. Awesome. Okay, just roll out. Or maybe not, I don't know. And we are almost done. Okay, Oleg is done. Definitely. Alright, and we are done as well. And we get the Dragon Hellbird for our troubles as well. So, um, yeah. That's pretty cool. And now we shall go back to the sea for a river well bank site of Chris. And... With the upper levels done, we don't have to go back and we, we don't have to proceed to deal with them anymore. I believe we can now start dealing with the lower levels. So, um, I was thinking about popping a runak, but I was like, you know what? We only have one left, and despite how well this place is a bit challenging, but I think we can handle it on our base stats, to be honest. I think I have done a good job upgrading my character in the areas that matter especially with how, how i'd like to play this game so i'm thinking we just electrify armament it's gonna be like the good old days and then we just simply have at it so you remember we lit up that uh obelisk and that other pillar along the stairs lit up so that's the first one there are i believe eight such pillars for us to 
find and light up so it's gonna be fun so next to the litter pillar we have the map as you guys can see and now that gives us the map of the entirety of the Sri of river well and we have this entirety region to go and explore and to find the other pillars so that we can light up the way to the boss of the region all right so those are the ancestrals hunters i don't know why i keep calling the space i mean they are spirits but they are in reality ancestral hunters but yeah those they are there and as i told you animals tend to love the ancestral hunters for some reason but the ancestral hunters don't love me so now i'll start dealing with them now the thing about ancestral hunters is you take down three of them you get a flask refill so it's gonna be pretty fun at least it gives you the it gives you the motivation to keep going without resting at the site of grace because um the importance of us doing this is to try do all the pillars without resting at the site of grace because as you guys know the moment you rest everything in this universe gets reset and once it gets reset you are not you, do, you won't want to deal with a lot of ancestral hunters all over again when you're trying to move from one pillar to the next it's not gonna be fun so you'd rather just keep on soldiering on despite the amount of damage you've done or you've taken so as you guys are gonna see we shall be activating sites of graces but we, we w there's no single point that we shall be resting at one the main issue the main point is gonna be for us to just keep moving without dying that's gonna be the main focus we are gonna have to keep moving without dying so that's where we need to head off head to and then that's the other second place we need to head to so the site of grace is gonna be our point of reference so we just jump up on this platform and then we just move straight and we've already lit up one so as i said there are eight of them so we shall be counting now this is not one of them despite it looking like something that you can light up all right some more ancestral spirits so that one has been dealt with and then here's another one I keep calling them ancestral spirits, they're ancestral hunters. Alright, there we go. As I said, for every three we take down, we shall be getting a flask refill. So, even the game is encouraging you to do this without resting, which is insane. Alright, pillar number two, well, activated. So, we now need to go find the other six pillars. Again, I'd be careful with the animals. They don't. They they tend not to attack, but you can never be too certain, especially because you are literally attacking their favorite ancestral hunter. So, yeah. So we just have to move over to find the third pillar in our journey. Oh boy. Okay, that was not cool. Alright, those blue orbs shoot out lightning bolts, so something to always be careful about. You do not want to have uh, lightning bolts shooting up at your face at all times when you know when it can't be avoided.
Anyway, that's another ancestral hunter. So, as with everything, we always need to take them out. I'm gonna electrify my armament. Yeah, so that I can deal some more damage to them. And yeah. And we get some Trinus lilies for our troubles. Now, we are moving on to find the third obelisk tower. Um, there are a lot of, uh, what's it called? There are a lot of land octopus, says octopi over here, so other things to be careful of. I think they're actually two big boys over here, if I'm not mistaken. I will deal with them, but I don't want to deal with them now. I'm just trying to still find my bearings on where I'm supposed to head over to next. And I said, two of them. Something to be really, really careful of. And then, you know, there are little miniature babies around as well. Now, this place is so big, I think I'm actually might be lost. So, I'm just going back to the last place where I killed a hunter to regain my bearings. Yeah, there it is. There's the third one. I, it was, I knew it was always straight on from the third hunter you destroy. So, take this guy out. We're gonna electrify our armament once more. Pick up the Duke's tab. And then I'm gonna go take out the other ancestral hunters. And then there is one more left. Right. And then we're gonna go light this one up. Alright, three down, five to go. Again, be wary of the orbs, they will start electrifying you as soon as you get within their vicinity. So now we're gonna go up this platform. I'm going to see there is nothing in here, okay. So we move on and we're gonna go up. And would you look at that, another ancestral spirit. There should be another one up here. Problem is, has he had our fighting scaffolds? He has. Alright, we're gonna fight and see who knocks the other one off the ladder. We win. Alright, done. We move up. Again, the game is literally f spoon feeding you glass refills in this area. It it comes as to no surprise why it's recommended you don't rest at all, because it's just gonna give you a, an even harder time if you do. Well, I'm as I'll say that like you you're not supposed to rest when you are lighting up these pillars, if you, unless you want to have a harder time doing this region. Alright, so we're just gonna move around this region. And there should be a merchant over here. If you can hear a violin being played, that's the merchant playing the violin. So, yeah, it should be around here somewhere. Just have to follow the music. Oh, here he is. Oh, a customer. Oh, 
Yeah, so these are the dwelling arrows, they are the magical arrows that these uh, ancestral hunters use and once we do get a specialized bow we shall be able to use them as well, which is going to be cool. Anyway, I'm um, going to put some blood flame on our blade. Hello plants! If I can actually cut them up. Oh no, we've been poisoned. What are we gonna do? How about some flame cleanse me? You guys saw that, right? So, as I said, it's gonna be sort of a, like a cheat code to have that um, incantation with us. So. Yeah, so the flame cleanse me incantation is gonna be a big help to us, especially when you do not have any uh, neutralizing boluses. You just simply use the flame to cleanse or you of whatever you have going on and it's like it never happened. Alright, so it's time for me to get the attention of the big boy. And getting the attention of the big boy, we can now start dealing with them. So, you guys know, charged heavy attack and then critical. Okay, first big boy down, I need to go get the second big boy. There should be a second big boy over here. Need to get rid of them so that they do not interfere with my journey through this area. We electrify our armament once more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to stop it from consuming its arm. Um, Once these giant big boys start consuming their tentacles, they can heal themselves up and you don't want that, so did that to specifically stop them from healing up and making my life a bit more harder. Okay, we already lit this one up, so from here on we need to find the fourth one. So, looking at that platform which we climbed upon when we went all the way up, we shall now be traveling forward now. You need to avoid the lightning chucking orbs as much as possible, but as you can see, the lightning chuckers are guarding the fourth one, I believe. Yeah, they're guarding the fourth one. We've done three. Yeah, yeah, we've done three. So, as you can see, trying to spray me up with the lightning. And that lightning strike actually hurts. So it's best to be careful around them. So I'm just gonna stand behind the pillar 
and let them self implode as they try to shoot us with lightning and yeah the fourth one has been lit all right we are halfway there you guys halfway there We've also found a site of grace which will also act as a direction to where we are trying to head off. And immediately here there is a fifth one but as you guys can see it is well guarded. And here is number five. So five down three to go. As you guys can see all this I think they're squirrels. They really love the being around the hunters. Yeah, lucky for those animals, I'm not into destroying them. Anyway, it's time to look for number six. Now you can hear a little bit of stomping happening around and these guys are I wanna say praying to the moon and to the stars I guess and I'm not having that we all know that the moon gets its light from the sun so this is very disrespectful to the sun and I am having none of it So I'm just going to sneak around and take them all out. As you guys can see as well I am actually attacking him attacking all of them from behind This way we do not get uh, pulverized with so many arrows from a distance Okay so that transporter will just take us back to where we were uh, where we deal, dealt with the upper boss so we don't need to do that there are some more ancestral spirits up here guarding another pillar that we need as you guys can see so um, I'm gonna go back here and see if there's anything that I've not picked up and then we shall go and deal with that pillar as well all right so I'm, I'm not so sure if these things run away so I'm just gonna get some throwing daggers to see if I can take them out with the daggers okay yeah, this is a waste of time Alright, so we get uh, the square of Ash of War, which I mean, eh. I mean, it's alright, I guess. Anyway, we move up, we move up, and move up. So, as you guys saw, there was one down there, and there's one up here. We've already done five. So, we're gonna start off by taking out these rats. Protecting their ancestral hunters while they pray I did not come all this way to die to a bunch of rats I believe this one is actually harder to get to, especially when you deal with the other two that are down there so I always think it's better to get this one first Okay, take him out and then take him out. 
and we light up number six. All right, six down to to go. Who'd have thought it that some of the most hardest things to ever do was to run around looking for pillars to light up. But anyway, six down to to go. As I said, uh, it's important not to rest because you can imagine all those hunters that kept on appearing every which way uh, that we've had to deal with all this time. Imagine them now being reset all over the place and you're running around trying to evade arrows doesn't sound like a good proposition to deal with anyway so we shall be moving down here and we shall be picking up a runak i've decided never to use a runak if i only have one runak left because um, i love having runaks so that i can activate them and have them boost up my abilities but if I can't have them boosting up my abilities, then there's really no point. Runak act acquired. So it's time to go back and continue traversing this region. Our confessor journey has been one of a lot of trials and tribulations and we are not even close to more we're not even close to some of the worst trials and tribulations yet i do not know why this sh uh, goats roll all up like that but you know let them do them so pick up some melted mushrooms some dukist abba and now we get a golden seed for our troubles now there is some loot over there but i have such big ptsd um after the jabba kafafu as you can see a lot of blastings here as well people trying to jump so that they can go get the loot and after what happens to me in jabba man i am i'm thinking this is one that i'm actually gonna pass i kind of don't want to um i don't want to risk the amount of runes i've gathered so far in this one region all for a stone sword key i'm not even gonna lie there's a stone sword key like around there and all that for a i'm gonna risk that for a stone sword key and when we and if we fail we're gonna have to go back to the last site of grace which we activated and move through everything over here that has been reset as you guys can see everything is telling me that the risk does not match the rewards so um yeah the risk does not match the reward for me so i'm gonna pass on that stone sword key right so six of these pillars have been lit let's go light up the seventh one Whoa, 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 whoa. Need to be really careful with where I'm riding this horse. So as you guys can see, a lot of hunters over here. So I'm just going to try and evade them all. And then there is a nice sight of grace over here. So we're going to activate it. And then I'm going to take down all these hunters. Right, as you can see, we now had two runaks. I'm gonna activate it now, and we are back to boosted attribute levels. So, electrify this armament, and now we go. St we start taking out hunters one by one. Oh. Dude saved his body. That arrow. Do you guys see how fast these arrows move and how charged they are when they come towards you? Like this guy. I have two magical arrows sticking inside me.
Oh man, he summoned the animals to help him. You see, this is what I mean. Like, these guys are insane. Animals actually like them. I did not come here to die to a bunch of rats. Alright. Let's get ourselves some formic rock. Get ourselves some Dukeist Arbor. Anyway, if you guys weren't playing a drinking game, go restart the video and start drinking to every time I say Dukeist Arbor. Looks like it's gonna be... You guys, if you guys actually try to play that, you're gonna end up so wasted. Anyway, here's pillar number seven. And as usual, rats moving along with their hunter dudes. Man, these things are protected by so many rats. No. 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 Alright, this one is left. And pillar number seven. Right, we only have one more pillar left. Oh my days, this has been quite the journey. Just activating pillars. Alright, now I'm just trying to orient myself to see if I have to see which direction that I actually need to take to get to the last final pillar. Again, don't take any teleporter in th at this stage. They just chuck you up at random spots in within this specific region. And if you do, you're gonna... Well, for me anyway, I'm gonna lose track of where I was and where I went. And it's really not worth it. Okay, so um, this is where we were where with the grace that we took. So yeah, As you can see, even me who tried to be as methodical as possible... I still get lost in this place. Must be the forever night sky that is in here. Like it never changes from day to night. I mean time passes between day to night like normal but because there's a starry blue s there's a starry night sky at all times in this region it's kind of yeah it's kind of really deceiving. I might be lost you guys. I might be lost. Mm. All right, we get the clarifying horn charm. We're going to use one of the stone sword keys to open this region up. Actually, just to activate the elevator. And this elevator is going to take us up. And just like a bit of foreshadowing, it's going to take us to the next region that we shall be going to after this episode. I 
Man, my outfit is bloodied. And we are at Kaylid. Coming from the deep three of Rawel. Right, so all I'm doing here in Kaylid is picking up this side of Grace. And then uh, there's this one path that you guys can see around here. This one which I'm following. And it goes all the way up to this Colosseum region. We shall be doing that once we get to Kaylid. But I don't want to do it right now because there is like a huge ass bear around here. And if that bear kills me then it's curtains for myself. And if it does kill me as you guys can see a lot of blood stream here. That bear is not to be messed around with. Actually everything in Kaylid is not to be messed around with. But yeah, if that was to come around and mess, it would mess me up real good and I'd have to restart at a site of grace and all the progress I made would be gone and all the hunters would be back and you know, it's, ah, it's not, it's not something that you want to deal with a lot at the best of times. So as of now, we're just going to pick up that grace so that we can have it in our grace repertoire and then we shall go back down to where we were and then head over to activate the eighth and final pillar so that we can light up the way to the boss just i'm gonna jump this side with torrent we're gonna pick up some more melted mushrooms Pick up some more Duke is Taba. Uh, avoid the rats for good measure. Now we're gonna just run as we pick up stuff that we haven't yet picked up. So like that golden run 4 for instance. That scarab only fills up your glass so if you are running low, pretty good source of replenishing your glass. Flasks, sorry. And yeah, we're just gonna keep the nice blue sky to our left as we travel down. As you can see, nice starry blue sky is already on our left, so we're just gonna keep it there and travel down. And it's the hope that we shall be able to figure out where the last and final um, pillar is. You know, don't want to leave any melted mushrooms behind, just in case. So that's the other side of grace that we picked up. I'm going to leave it there as it is. And as you guys can see, we already lit that one up. So it's not the one that you need to light up. But at the same time, you guys can see that there are some ancestral spirits, hunters over here. And for some reason, there's a lot of them. And it looks like they're guarding the last one. So No, they're actually not. They're just standing here. Yeah, I'm just going to take them out. Sorry. I frames. Alright. Taking those guys out. Let's just keep moving forward. Whenever in doubt, keep moving forward. Okay, so the night sky is right there. I need to see 
I'm actually gonna go back to this one and then we're gonna pick up away from here so um, I'm gonna look for this pillar this is the same pillar that we went above as we st well at the start of the episode when we were going to deal with the minor boss this was the same pillar that he the same pillar that he was on and as you can see oh god wow that was such a powerful arrow shot my goodness wow now you see this is why i tell you guys that having this area reset so that you can deal with these hunters like this it's gonna be a real pain in the ass this dude has been destroying me and I'm not having it look at the amount of arrows he put through us no actually you can't see me never mind Okay, I see some more ancestral hunters over here, so... At this point, I'm still looking for the final pillar, which I'm still not finding, but... I think it's safe to assume that... Wherever the ancestral spirit hunters are, probably there's a pillar over there, so... It's kinda... I did not think that finding the 8th pillar was the one which was going to be the biggest issue for me. As you can see there is like 3 of them walking from that direction. So I'm actually going to go see where they are coming from and wow, look at the herd of animals just following them. Okay, I've already had an arrow being shot towards me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, no, no. I don't like that. Yeah, so I'm gonna take these guys out so that they do not help in the matchup. Hmm. Shield Grace, I never thought that such a thing existed. What is up? And another golden rune too, so... Ah yes, there it is, the last one. And there is one standing in my way. And here is the last one, number 8. Power gather somewhere in Horn remains. All right, that message does tell us that we have actually lit up all the pillars needed to go to the boss. We have nothing else left to do but to go back to the first site of grace and simply move up to where the boss is. Eh, this has been a long time coming. Alright, as you can see right there in the distance, the place with all the flames lighting up, that is exactly where we need to go. And here we are, Hollow Horn Grounds, and we shall be traversing. I'm gonna touch the bone remains, and then it shall take us to where the boss fight is. It 
so we've passed an area with the stake of marika so if we were to die this is where we're gonna start again okay i do not have my bubble shield but it's fine i think we can do it without it so um yeah I'm gonna traverse the limit and then we're gonna bring out our demi humans and then we shall be fighting the ancestor spirit a big I don't call it an antelope it looks like a moose rather it looks like a moose or a reindeer Okay, that's not nice. Okay. Could you please stand in one direction so that I can stand in one place so that I can take you out? Thank you. Oh, that's a beautiful very beautiful hit. I like how it normally spews f hot flame like that. It's insane. Nope. so close okay not cool well let's have to try out the flame of frenzy yeah my demi humans are not faring on well actually they are all gone to be honest all right i guess it's just gonna be me and each one on one Hello ancestor spirit. Oh. 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 And we get the follow ashes from these hunters who are hunting us all over the place and I might consider using them but nah. They are work. But yeah, that's pretty much it so we're gonna head back to where we were. So, I'm gonna go back in and see if there's anything I missed.
anyway so let me just head over to the round table hold do a little bit of upgrading uh upgrading my stats and then we upgrade our weapons as well and our spirit summons and then from here we shall head over to Kaylid and start off our next journey so we're gonna take our strength to 29 which leaves us one level shy over 30 right so um no this is not where i want to go i want to go and get myself another spirit summon we are gonna try upgrade our spirit summons as well all right oleg is a level four plus four i mean Alright, so we're gonna upgrade our shield. Alright, our shield is a plus 12. And yeah, that's gonna be cool. So, I mean, I could upgrade this, but. I also have the golden hellbird, but we do not even have the smithing, st the somber smithing stone that we need to upgrade it further. So yeah, I think that's about it. So in the next one, we shall be picking it up from here as we go to Kaylid and see what the basic Australian wilds holds for us. So I'm just gonna remove the weapons from my active carry that I do not use and stay left with the ones that are gonna be in my rotation so until then stay safe be smart be kind tell somebody love them today I shall catch you all in the next one bye guys